<sighs> Good morning. I think it might have rained a little bit last night. I heard it hitting the van a little bit this morning, but it doesn't look like there's anything on the ground. Maybe it was just a light rain for a minute, but it is pretty gloomy outside. And I don't think it's supposed to let up at all, so that's kind of lame. But anyways, we've got to get up because I've got a really long day planned and we have to get an early start to it. So if you guys uh, watched my last video that came out on Tuesday, you'll remember where I'm currently parked at. And if you didn't watch the last video, or maybe this is your first time watching the channel, my name is Ryan and I live in the back of my self-converted camper van and I've done so for the last two years. Currently we are on a very elongated trip up from the Florida Keys to Alaska, but we're on a Southern California detour right now. And we are currently at the lovely beach in San Diego. So for uh, today's video, we're in a race against time because I'm gonna be attempting to do the SoCal challenge, which is at least the van life version or the camping version of it. There's a couple different versions of it, but we start at the beach in the morning. We're gonna start with our toes in the water. And then by the afternoon, you make it up to the mountains and go snowboarding and then after you go snowboarding in the mountains, you make it back to camp in the desert at night before sunset. So we're going from the beach to the snow-packed mountains to the desert all in one day. So it is currently 8.30 a.m. The mountains are about a two and a half to three hour drive away. We need at least four hours to snowboard or at least to get a proper snowboarding day in. We definitely might be cutting it close today with making it to our campsite in the desert before the sun sets. All right, so while I was making my coffee, I pulled out another one of those taco hamburgers that I made the other day, and I'm warming that up for breakfast. And if you don't know what I mean by taco hamburger, you can go watch my last two videos because both of them kind of have a little explanation of what that means. But for my regular viewers, since I've already explained it twice, I won't explain it a third time today. All right, I've got my little to-go breakfast burger taco packet thing. Got my coffee. Let's head down to the beach and get started on this challenge. So I wish it wasn't so cloudy out today. It's kind of a bummer starting the day in the shade, but for anyone who's new here, I stealth camped right down behind that 7-Eleven on the street. And then right up here, just across this uh, road up here, you can kind of see it in between those houses down there, is the ocean, which is where we're headed to. Oak Avenue, beach entrance. The tide looks a lot higher today than it did yesterday. And also the waves look so much bigger. Fun fact, I've actually taken a shower in that shower before. Yeah, definitely not as much beach as there was yesterday. And nowhere near as calm, but I gotta eat my breakfast and get out of here as quickly as I can so that we can make it to the desert before sunset. Cheers to another breakfast burger taco, but this time we're on the beach. And these things are honestly so good and so perfect for a breakfast. I might just start bulk making these for meal prep. Sun's peeking out a little bit. All right, breakfast is done. I think in order to properly start this challenge, I gotta start with my feet in the water. So, I'm gonna go do that. All right. And that marks the official start of the challenge. It's currently almost exactly 9 a.m. So let's see how long it takes me to make it to the desert. So with this challenge, I'm not really worried about making it to the desert in one day. I feel like that's easily doable. I'm worried about making it there before sunset. So I think before we leave Carlsbad and this beautiful stealth camping spot we have here right on the beach, I'm gonna stop by this donut shop that I went to with my girlfriend and brother last time we were here. And I'm not joking when I say this, it was the best donut that I've ever had in my entire life. So I cannot leave here without at least getting one. All right, so I had to change my hoodie out because I didn't realize it until I got down to the beach, but it was covered in stains because it's stark white and I have a bad habit of wiping my hands on my shirt, so I really need to stop doing that. <sighs> Never mind. For some reason, the only day of the week that they're closed is Monday, so we can't go there. But anyways, if you're ever in Carlsbad, go to this donut shop, it's called The Goods Donuts, and get their brown butter donut. 
I am not joking. It is the best donut that I have ever had in my entire life. And I'm not gonna lie, I think about it often. But if you do go, tell them Ryan sent you and maybe they'll uh, ship me a donut because I sent so many people their way. Since we're not stopping there, it's time to hit the road and go from this beautiful beach town all the way up to the snowy mountains. made it to the city of Big Bear Lake and I know I've said it before and I will continue to say it but California is legitimately like being in a Minecraft world. We went from two hours ago being on the beach in 65 degree weather to now in the mountains with two maybe three feet of snow on the ground at some points and driving up the mountain it was actually kind of crazy how quickly it shifted from being no snow to like two or three feet of snow. It was like within two minutes we went from green grass to the ground covered in snow but we're about 10 minutes away from the ski resort. So check in with you guys once I get there. And we have made it to Bear Mountain to go snowboarding for the first time in like 10 years. Should be interesting to see if we can uh, actually stand up or not. There we go. All right, let's hit the slopes. So I know what a lot of you might be thinking. Ryan, why didn't you bring the snowboard that you just bought the other day? And honestly, I could have, but it was just easier for me to get a package rental deal that comes with the snowboard, the helmet, the snow boots, and everything I need to go down the mountain. So I just didn't want to deal with my boots not fitting or whatever. I don't really know how it all works because I haven't been in so long. So for me, it was worth it just to get the whole rental. We've got everything. Now it's time to conquer the number one fear I have about this. And I think I might actually need to buy some goggles. This is like not regular snow. It's almost like mini hail. <laughs> All right, so I went to the store and I just bought the uh, cheapest pair of goggles they have. So should be good to go now. All right, so I asked one of the people who work here what the uh, easiest slope was and they said chair seven is the bunny slopes. So looks like it's mostly kids up there, but maybe that's where we're gonna start. ride with somebody. You want to go? I'll go with you. This is your first time ever right now, this one? Yeah. Oh, shit. So I'm not sure what the uh, procedure is for kind of getting on or off. I am not a boarder. Fair. <laughs> I ski. I think you just put one foot in and kind of slide down. It comes off on a, like a little lip, right? Yes. Yeah. So you're just going to wing it? You watch any YouTubes or anything? Uh, I'm just going to wing it. Oh. Uh, that's why I'm going up to these like bunny slopes yeah, first. This is the bunny slope. I'm do one or two runs or a few runs. Yeah, just do a few runs, get, get <laughs> kind of get a feel for it. Good luck. What's it called? Uh, just my name, Ryan Toomey. Ryan Toomey? Yeah. Okay, okay. Have a good one. Oh my god, I was so nervous that I was going to fall off that. But we didn't. We made it up. I guess I probably should have watched some YouTube videos on how to do this. All right, so it's just kind of like, whoa, it's like a whiteout down here now. So it's just kind of like longboarding, almost. You stop like that. Also, I'm not very confident in my backside turn yet. All right, need some speed now. Oh. <laughs> First of all. All right, so there's a backside turn. Maybe we'll try that one again before we go anywhere else. So I think this time I might go for a little bit, oh, a little bit more speed. I don't know. Oh, ow. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, that didn't feel good. Let's try to get some speed right here. Yee 
hard. It's like there's no snow to really grip into. It's just like so icy. But I think I'm comfortable enough now to where I can go down one of the more intermediate slopes. So I'm going to head over to that sea lift right there and take that one. See if we can try something a little bit more challenging, a little bit steeper. You snowboard a lot? No, that's, I never snowboard. Another vibe? Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time uh, out. I literally was like, I can't go with her because I always bump into her. Uh -huh. I didn't want us to fall. <laughs> like when we get out. <laughs> I fall every time I get out of this shit. That's what I was worried about. I don't know if you can see it, but that sign over there says Easy Street. So we're gonna try that one first. All right, my microphones are starting to freeze up and shut off. So I'm gonna leave you guys just with a montage of the rest of my day. We've got our uh, rentals and stuff returned. And towards the end there, I actually started to feel like I got the hang of it. I was uh, making some turns and I was going down the mountain fine other than some dude was going too fast behind me, lost control, crashed into my back at like 15 miles an hour. I caught it on camera, but I was facing the camera forward so you didn't see him actually hit me. That was fun. I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit nervous about the ski lift getting on and off and getting in people's way and stuff with not really knowing what I'm doing, but it really wasn't too bad. And honestly, every time that I get worried about something that I'm about to do, it's always the thought of it that is scary. It's not actually doing it, it's so weird. And I always like to try, at least to push myself out of my comfort zone, because that's kind of where growth happens. So I like to constantly seek things that allow for that change. But um, I am sick and tired of this cold. It is freezing outside. It's definitely below freezing now. Got some ice schools forming on the bottom of the van. But I will say, I am very ready. Oh. For the final leg of this journey and to get into the warmer weather down in the desert so i'm gonna get all this stuff taken off and we're gonna head down there and also so i had a ton of people reach out to me about the uh snowboard that i said i would give to someone for free but someone named sean reached out who is a disabled veteran and has started a collection from snowboarding gear to skiing gear to hiking gear and all of that kind of stuff in order to take other disabled veterans out skiing, hiking, and doing all that kind of stuff outdoors. And all of the equipment they use is donated, so I'm gonna be sending this snowboard to Sean and uh, hopefully those veterans get some good use out of it. So yeah, appreciate you guys all reaching out to me, but it has already been given away. There you go. But I'm gonna get all this stuff and then we're getting out of here to the desert. Snowboarding is also a lot more tiring than I thought it was going to be, so that was a surprise. But let's get out of this super cold and get down to the more mild cold of the desert. Also, just for your reference, it is currently 28 degrees. We'll check it again once we get down there. campsite I'm gonna pull into this uh, OHV area in here and today 
that drive was the windiest driving conditions I have ever had to drive in, in my entire life. I took a video of it while I was driving through, but I drove through a uh, dust storm and visibility dropped to completely zero. That was crazy, but I think this is where we're gonna camp tonight for our final spot here in the desert, right next to this fire pit. So as long as we don't get blown away tonight, we are going to finish the Southern California challenge of starting at the ocean, snowboarding, and then camping in the desert. I don't even wanna get out. Guarantee my hat's going. Oh. Definitely windy, there goes the hat. Oh my God. I think I'm going to, uh, hang on. I think I'm going to turn the van around because with the van here blocking the wind, it's not really that bad. But my door is on the other side, so. I'm gonna spin it around. God, there's so much dust. Honestly, you know what, doesn't even matter. I'm not keeping that door open. There's so much dust. God, it's so hard to open. Oh. Anyways, we made it to the uh, desert from the ocean, from the mountains. Get these fans closed so they don't blow away and break. And also, for those of you guys wondering, it is currently 59 degrees down here in the desert, so way better than the 28 degree temperatures up in the mountain. And it was supposed to get down to, I think, 19 tonight up there. It's not ideal for camping in a van, but it wouldn't have been too bad because I do have my diesel heater anyways. Alrighty, so I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty exhausted. So I uh, laid down for a minute and fell asleep for like 20 minutes, so now the sun is set a lot more than it was when we got here. And um, it's still just as windy. I don't know if you guys can hear it coming through the roof vent. But this is easily the windiest day I've ever experienced in the desert. Not the best for camping, but tomorrow, it's actually supposed to be pretty nice. And honestly, I was going to uh, make a fish fry and have like a semi-nice big dinner. In all honesty, I forgot to go to the grocery store and get the breading for a fish fry. I had fish last night, so I don't really want it tonight. So I think tonight for dinner, I'm gonna make some good old fashioned tomato soup and grilled cheese. And by make, I mean warm up. And honestly, if I wasn't in the middle of a literal jet stream right now. I would go outside and show you guys the campsite, but um, it's really not too much. It's just kind of dirt patch in the middle of the desert, just outside of Barstow, California. So there's really not much around other than flat land and some mountains in the distance, and then some dirt on the ground. So here's how to cook a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup in the back of a van in the desert when you don't feel like making a big dinner. Step one, get yourself a dirty pan out of the sink that you use to cook breakfast. Step two, grab yourself a can. And I don't have any. I just have tomato sauce. I guess we will not be having tomato soup. And we're just gonna be having some grilled cheese. So, in order to make grilled cheese, you gotta melt some butter in your pan. Throw one slice down there on the butter. Make sure you soak it all up. Place your cheese of choice on top of that bread. In this case, I chose American, and then top it with the other piece of bread. And I'm actually gonna make two sandwiches. And this might look like a simple mm -hmm. recipe, but it's actually one of the most complex dishes that you can cook. And if you really wanna take this dish to the next level, instead of cutting it like this, you actually cut it like this, and it really elevates the dish. Beautiful. Apparently this wind is supposed to start dying down by 11, so hopefully it'll be a little quieter when I go to sleep. But look at that sunset. Ain't she pretty? All right, grilled cheese has been deleted except for all the little corners that didn't have any cheese in them. And I think honestly, it has been a crazy long day. Was up pretty late last night and pretty early this morning. So I think I'm probably just going to take myself a dude wipe shower, which if you watch my channel for a while, you'll know what these are. They're essentially gigantic, super tough baby wipes that you strip down and then wipe yourself down with it. So that's what we're doing for a shower tonight. And then I'm just probably gonna go to bed. So I will check in with you guys in the morning. actually been up for like an hour or so scrolling on TikTok. But the wind has 
finally died down and it's actually kind of a nice day out today but it did get incredibly cold last night sleep and it got down to like just a little bit below freezing but honestly uh in the back of the van it wasn't too bad curled up under the blankets but we have made it overnight which means we officially have camped here at our spot in the desert so much nicer out here when it's not windy what that means is we have completed the Southern California Challenge. Yeah, since I didn't show you guys the campsite last night, it's really nothing special. It's just kind of a dirt patch on the side of this OHV area on the side of the highway. And I think Barstow, just up the road that way somewhere, past that little mountain slash hill right there. Yeah. I think uh, since I'm filming these videos in advance for once and not uploading it the day that I'm leaving the campsite, I think I might stay here and hang out another night since I'm not doxing myself by posting a video and revealing where I was camping. That'll be nice. I don't really get to do that as often uh, as I used to before I started posting videos. But yeah, speaking of videos, I think that's where I'm probably going to end this one. So as always, I truly, truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, think about clicking that subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And I will catch you guys on Sunday.